I'm going to do a natural makeup look today. I'm Pinky, and this is my dog, Moko. And then I have another dog with me too. Happy! And then we're going to do a very pinkish natural makeup look today. Look at me, I'm so pale and, and very ugly now. But after that, you will see how I actually look every day when I go out for my house. So today, we're going to just use a um, palette. Um, sunscreen that I usually use I'm not sure if you guys can see it this one and brushes and some brushes and of course a very pinkish lipstick um, I'll state it below what the brand is and then probably some concealer that's all because you know we got conceal don't feel so here we go we're gonna start with eyebrow first because I always start with eyebrow so usually I'll just pick a very natural brown look darkish brown look from my palette so probably I'll just go with this one I'm just gonna show you guys this one this kind of dark um, probably it depends really it depends on yourself so this one suits me I think so I'm just gonna go with this but if you really want a very natural look just go with brown we just go with a brown and then we're just gonna tap on it a little bit and then just pat it off and then we're just gonna start drawing so I always start with the middle and then you can see it's a little bit very messy now so I'm just gonna use the concealer to conceal it so my concealer is from Maybelline Maybelline and then the light is 10 10 light fit me concealer and then I'm just gonna use this for now so actually I always use this one I always choose like the lighter color because I like because obviously you have to choose the lighter color from your foundation so I'm just gonna use this first To make the concealer to blend in, I'll just use like this one to just kind of dab it all the time. So, so the second thing I'm gonna do is putting sunscreen on my face. Um, people usually put foundation. I also have foundation. I always use Wet n Wild or Maybelline. I always use the drugstore foundation. But for daily, I always use sunscreen because it's way cheaper and lighter it's not as heavy as foundation and it doesn't smell that bad i mean it depends on your brand of sunscreen but later on i'll just put down the brand that i use daily so it's actually a very cute packaging i'm not trying to sell it or anything so basically i'll just put one pump one pump is enough you just put one pump yeah it's right and then i just dab it all over my face like this Oh my hair. Just dab here. Dab here. Just dab it all over it. All over your face. Including here, which they are more like um what they call it again. Like red, red, red stuff. So I forgot what it's called. But anyway, just cover it. So after dabbing all the sunscreen on my face, I know it's very tedious but anyway, I'll just take like a beauty blender sponge and then I'll just use like this setting spray from Wet n Wild. Um, if you don't want to use setting spray, it's okay but I would prefer to use spreading setting spray, setting spray <laughs> to keep your makeup whole day to stay obviously, that's what setting spray is for. So I just probably like one pump on oh, my beauty blender and then I'll just dab it on my hand first to make the like to dip it inside into the beauty blender. So and then I'll just start blending everywhere. And then obviously you have to dab it from your face to your neck because you want your neck to look the same color as your face. So I'll just start dabbing it. So 
And then the third thing I'll do is You still can see a little bit dark circle under my eyes So I'm going to So I'm going to conceal it Cover it with the same concealer from Maybelline I always use drugstore stuff so Cheap So after that, I'm just gonna put a little bit because you want a natural look So you just gotta put a little bit And I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender sponge And I'm just gonna, you know, dab it and pull it up You gotta pull it up, girl, pull it up mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can see that it's cover up Probably you can still see a little bit, but mm. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put eyeshadow onto our eyelid so usually I put eyeshadow but today I changed because I really need to get that pinky look so I use my blusher actually you can use your blusher for um, as eyeshadow but so for now you can see I already applied it and I just use like a normal brush to apply it on my eyes and it's very pinky now but then if you want to have a more special color on it you can put this color this kind of color at the end so you probably want to choose a very small small smaller brush to and then you just dab it and then you just put it at the end for example like this so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna blush my cheek but instead of applying eyeliner I will not be applying eyeliner today because if you want to achieve a very natural look you will not you will not have to put eyeliner but if you have a monolith eye I mean monolith eye probably you should put eyeliner because it will make your eyes look bigger but for me I will not put eyeliner so I'm just gonna go with the blusher so I'm gonna use with this 3CE my son kidney uh, Mason Kutsen blah blah <laughs> 3CE It's very cute Actually my friend bought it for me So I'm just gonna continue with dabbing on it And then they actually have this thing in it So you don't have to worry about it. And then you just dab it on your cheekbone And to end this Obviously Eyelash curler so when you use this, you have to be very careful And so for the second last thing I'll do is I'm gonna apply this mascara And it's from Daiso It's only 5 ringgit and it's very very good It's super good and it's very cheap So let's start It actually gives you a full natural look volume So you don't have to worry about it Can you see the difference? And then for the last thing, I'm gonna use the lipstick from. Um, I will actually put it down below. It's cute press, cute press, and it's very cute because it's Ariel, Ariel Me packaging. It's very cute. It's also from one of my friend. I love you. Thanks for giving it to me. And then it's actually a very nice color. So guys, to end this video right here, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to watch the next video and give it a thumbs up, right? Right? Give it a thumbs up, right? And comment down below um, what type of makeup you want to watch for the next video. As you can see, today is a very simple natural makeup look. It's very easy. It's very good to do it. I mean, it's very simple to do it. And it's very pinkish and, you know, it's a trend now. So I hope you guys like it and just comment down below what anything you want to say but just don't judge okay spread the positive energy and thank you thank you very much for watching and goodbye